warriors, welcome back to my channel. I just got back from the gym, that's why I look like a hot mess, but whatever. While it's on my mind, I wanted to create a video for all of you about my fitness journey, weight loss, self-discovery, and how I lost 30 pounds over the course of a year from the beginning of 2019 to now 2020 and how I did it living with type 1 diabetes. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos. Now, let's get started. So I wanna start off by saying that I have struggled with my weight tremendously since I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in the beginning of my teen years. Food is my clutch. Whenever I get stressed or feel down or hormonal, I tend to eat a lot. It is also a disadvantage with having type 1 because when my blood sugar drops low, I need to eat to maintain a stable blood sugar level. So it's really frustrating when you're trying to lose weight and your blood sugar is low and you have to grab something quick and eat it. And of course when you're low, you don't have an off button. You eat more than you should because you feel like you're dying. So the scale for me has always fluctuated. The sad part is, is that I used to value my self-worth based on a number on the scale. I thought to myself that if I was a certain number and I lost this amount of weight, then I would feel happy and fulfilled, but that wasn't true and it's not healthy to think like that at all. I would always start a fitness regimen and then not see the results right away and feel like what's even the point and get discouraged and just quit. It has taken me so long to become this dedicated and patient with myself and my goals. It is a process. It is a long process, but every day you get stronger and it's helped me grow so much. And the biggest growth that I've noticed is actually here, not here. <laughs> I want to assure anyone that feels discouraged that it doesn't happen overnight. There's no quick fix or magic pill. There's no gimmick. It is all about consistency. So the beginning of last year, 2019, I had had enough. I was done feeling unhappy in my body. I was done not loving myself. I was done with not feeling as healthy as I should feel. Me and my husband started working out together at LA Fitness. For any other moms out there who feel like they don't have enough time or support to go exercise and take time out for themselves, LA Fitness has an amazing childcare facility where you can have them watch them for two hours a day and go do you. It has literally been a godsend. Starting out, I felt awkward, I felt out of place, I didn't know what I was doing. So of course, I started out cardio. Cardio, cardio, cardio. That's all I've ever known. Stair stepper, treadmill, elliptical, spin class. I was all about it. My husband suggested that I start lifting weights and of course, with the myth that I don't want to lift weights because women will get bulky and look like a man. And I was very like, I don't want to do that. So eventually I gave in and started lifting weights. So what I've been doing up until recently is six days a week for one and a half to two hours. I would do cardio for 20 minutes and then lift weights. And then I've started noticing small changes here and there. I've noticed I'm toning up, my curvature on my body is looking nice, my waistline is slimming down. I couldn't believe it that I was losing inches and pounds with lifting weights. It seems like a lot to spend that much time at the gym, but if you think about it, if you're on your phone for a few hours a day, that's time that you could be spending on yourself at the gym and working on your own personal goals. It is so worth it. Another thing I've changed over the course of a year is consuming a lot of water. I was never a fan of water. I hated water. I had to flavor it and do a bunch of stuff to make me drink it, lemon, whatever. But now I love it. I found Pure Life water, which is, tastes amazing. And I love water more now than ever. If you think about it, water is the best thing for you. It gets all that 
stuff out of your system. It helps your immune system, metabolism. It's amazing. Sometimes I drink seltzer water if I'm in the mood for some fizz, like a, that soda feeling, but mostly I drink water. I have also stopped stepping on the scale, or not as much. What I do is take a lot of pictures, like a lot. And I do this to avoid basing my progress and my journey on a number. I want to love how I feel and how strong I'm getting and the scale does not define me. Or you. The amount of inches you've lost is not shown on a scale and the amount of muscle you put on versus the amount of fat loss is not shown on a scale. I have made huge progress finding happiness within and not letting outside influences affect that. I say the scale. For people with diabetes, a lot of you asked, how do you work out without your blood sugar spiking or dropping too low during a workout? Well, I will admit that it is very difficult and I still struggle and work through it and trying to find the best ways to manage diabetes and work out. But what I try to do is if my blood sugar is high before a workout, I tend to do some cardio to help lower it. And if it's low or lowish, you know, going into a workout, I like to lift weights. And I also try to suspend my pump so that my blood sugar doesn't drop very low during it because I drop, I go straight down if I'm doing high intensity workouts. But what I do struggle with is the hour after my workout, my blood sugars spike. So I have to turn it the insulin delivery back on during my workout or take some insulin to help you know keep my blood sugar stable again it's just about finding what works for you if you have diabetes I would hate it if I couldn't work out because I had diabetes and I've realized that I can do anything I'm just gonna go do it and diabetes is so long for the ride for diet I don't have a specific diet that I go by I don't really believe in diets but I do eat in moderation I try to eat things that make me feel fuller protein fiber lower in carbs lots of vegetables I enjoy drinking smoothies or packed with lots of vitamins and minerals and anything that I can try to help maintain good blood sugars I will admit that diet is probably my weakness in all of this I'm still trying to create healthy habits with food and nourishing my body. It is definitely an ongoing battle, but I'm always finding ways to improve in all aspects of my journey. So that about wraps it up for today. Leave me some comments below about your goals or aspirations for 2020. If you're on a new fitness journey or wanting to be, if you're looking for some self-discovery, leave me any questions you have and I'll be glad to answer them. I tried to cover everything that I could. I will continue to share my progress with my journey. It's never over. It's continuous, especially with diabetes. Till next time, bye guys.